at some point, you're going to want to split up your code. Code of a similar purpose can be placed into the same file or package. This will make your code much easier for others to navigate. You put chapters in a book so people can find a particular topic much quicker. Well, we, put, we split up our code so users can find related code much quicker. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Gen module on GitHub. So the entire module is a set of tools to help with a particular goal. And that goal is with easing web development. It has this bigger goal broken up into smaller tasks. Uh, as you can see, we have these different packages that handle a particular part of this overall large goal. And if we open that up, it also has these broken up into smaller tasks and then eventually individual files. Let's go ahead and back and let's go ahead and go to our code. If you like the content, please like, especially share and subscribe. A big thanks to everybody helping to grow the channel. Thank you. We have all of our code inside a folder called split code, which is going to be our module. Well, a module when we initialize our go.mod file. We also have our package main where our application starts and we have a do a thing package as well as a do a part package, but we're going to go ahead and start with package main. Now you might be used to main being in just one file, but that doesn't have to be the case. Uh, for instance, you might check on a GitHub repository where you have a main.go file, but you might also have something like a db.go where it's a part of package main, but it holds all of your database connection uh, code. In this one, we have package main, of course, in our main.go file, and we have to have our package declaration saying, hey, this is part of package main. And we have two other files here. We have package ABC, which is part of package main, and XYZ, which is part of package main. Yes, you have to have the package declaration on all three of them. Anytime that you're using an import, such as FUMP, well, you're gonna have to import that on every one of them that uses it. Notice that we use it in all three files. Just because we imported a main does not mean it's going to work in ABC or XYZ. So moving on, one thing to be aware of is you can actually have multiple init functions. Now these functions are the functions that are gonna run before func main, and they're meant for initialization, for setting things up. Now, if you have multiple inits, which one's actually gonna run first? Let's go ahead and take a look. All right, first we need to create our mod file. So go mod init. And when it comes to this module path, if we do not put anything, it's gonna go ahead and infer something. And very often that can be wrong. So we wanna make sure we get the correct location for this module path. That's gonna be split code. So if you leave that blank and it doesn't work, uh, that could be an issue. So as we create this mod file, when I put in split code, it's saying this, if you get something different, cause leave that blank. Well, sometimes you need to be more specific, but anyway, let's go ahead and go mod tidy. And if we try and run, go, uh, go run main.go. Well, we're going to go ahead and run into a problem here. So we have three files here. It's down to the end. We have that are part of package main. We have main.go, we have abc.go and we have xyz.go. Now the go run, uh, go run command is looking for a particular file. So if I run this, we're going to run into an issue because we have our function here, print proverb, which is actually over here. And it didn't know to use this package. It just said, Hey, you just listed one package. I used it. Um, it was undefined. So we have a problem. What we could do is go run main, sorry, main.go, abc.go, x, y, z dot go. And it's going to going to run. So we have our three init functions our message. So we have the init function from our main.go file, our ABC file and our X, Y, Z file. Now there's another way we can run this and just say, Hey, go ahead and run all the package main in this directory. And this will work. But one thing you'll notice these ran in a different order for these init functions. We have our init function here, here, and here, they're running in different orders. So in this one, we said, go run main.go. We're saying, Hey, go ahead and run main.go, then run abc.go and then xyz.go, which as you can see, main, abc, and then xyz. Now on this one, 
we had ABC run first, then main, then XYZ. So if you don't specify which one to run first, it's just going to run them in alphabetical order, lexical order. So it's going to go abc.go, main.go, xyz.go. So, uh, anyway, let's go ahead and go back to main.go. Uh, one other thing to be aware of is you can have init functions in these other packages as well. So we're going to go ahead and enable those and see you know, how that changes the order of things. Okay, so we have our package main, but we also have package package do a thing. As we can see, do a thing is we have our package declaration. It's not so much the, it's not the name of the folder. It's this package declaration saying, hey, this here is this package, but it's idiomatic to go ahead and try and keep those the same uh, name. So we have this package do a thing. So just like in a, Repo, you'd have you know, part of your code sometimes broken up into a, another package, and then you might even have other packages inside of those breaking up uh, whatever that purpose of that code is into smaller tasks. And even those can have several different, uh, different uh, files, kind of like these are all package do apart, package do apart. So we have three different files here. They're all part of the same package, just like we did with the main.go. Anyway, so we have an init function in all uh, four of these. So let's see what happens when we run it. All right. So as you can see, do a thing.go runs first, and then we have do a part.go. Those three will run next. So, and so why would these run for? the other ones. Well, these are going to run before the other ones because it's, it's setting things up. It's kind of like if you're going to use a hammer to build a house, you're going to make the hammer before you build the house. So these packages are intended to be used by, you know, package main. So anyway, so if you have initialization uh, functions, in any of those packages, they'll go ahead and run um, before your main.go or your main package stuff will run. Okay. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of our code here. So uh, one thing to be aware of, as we were saying, the package declarations and the imports, you got to have those for all of them, just like with do a part, like we said, got to have the import for all of them, got to say what package for all of them. But these can share a uh, code amongst them. So if we take a look at our function here, print another proverb. Well, this is going to take of type proverb two, which is our type is declared here. And we have a variable assigned a value here. So these packages, they don't need to import a package from themselves because they're part of the same package. Now, if I was going to use, you know, if some different packages pulling from each other would have to, but as long as they're part of the same package, we're part of do a part package. We don't need to do anything with the imports anyway. And taking a look at that. So, so uh, do it. Let's go to main.go. So print another proverb, uh, printed down here. And what was the message on that one? A little copying is better than a little dependency as we can see. That ran down here because that was our last thing to run. Uh, same thing here. We have our print proverb, which is in XYZ and print for proverb. Again, we don't have to make this capitalize. This doesn't have to export because this is in package main and it's being uh, invoked here in package main. And then we have our print proverb here, which is in a do a thing uh, package. So on this one, since this is a different package, we're in package main, since uh, this print proverb is inside the do a thing package here, print proverb, we 
we have to bring that in because this is a different package than package main. As you can see here, uh, we went ahead and said, hey, at split code, which is where we set our module path. So make sure this is set to split code. And we say, hey, at do a thing inside of there, uh, you'll have our package as you can see right here. So it's able to pull this in and give it access to our main.go file through the name thing. So thing.proverb will allow it to work. Now you do have to be, and this is a different package from that one. Notice this is capitalized. Yes, that does have to be capitalized. Uh, but when things are being used across the same package, even different files, no, you do not have to capitalize it. One thing I forgot to mention is say, if you build a executable, let's go with go build. If we say, Hey, I want main.go, abc.go, x, y, sorry, xyz.go, uh, it's going to go ahead and, uh, build it in that order. Oh, hold on here. Yep. Uh, there we go. Okay. So we got our main.exe. And if we run this, it's going to run in the order of main, ABC, XYZ, just like we uh, built it down here. So let's go ahead and delete that. And let's say we go build and we just say, hey, uh, you go ahead and look for all the files in this uh, directory that are part of the package or part of package main. Okay, so if we run this, Oops, hold on here. It's not recognized. Oh, sorry. Oh, I see what we did. We created a split code instead of a main. So sorry about that. And the first one we specified a main, so it used main. And this one, it said split code. So let's go ahead and do that one. Okay, there we go. So in this case, yes, it went in alphabetical order on the init function. So ABC, then main it go, then XYZ. Sorry about that. Kind of wasn't paying attention there. Uh, uh, so in review, uh, things can be in several different files, kind of like we got main, ABC, and XYZ are all in different files, but they're all part of package main. And this can make it a lot easier. Like I said, with like uh, db.go could be another file where you could put your database connections. You could put other different things spread out in different places, but just make your code a lot easier to navigate. Um, also, when you're bringing in uh, local packages, uh, make sure when you create your module that you know you tell it where to go, if or else it'll infer. Because I think the first time it did like YouTube slash something something is you know looking at some of my uh, uh, repo information and inferred it incorrectly. So I wanted it to start at this directory for my module. So uh, better to tell it than uh, it just doing things for you. And sometimes it comes out incorrectly. And so you just say, Hey, at our module path, go inside of this folder. And this is where you'll find, you know, the, you know, this particular package, you know, and so on and so on. So anyway, I hope that helps, uh, people when it comes to splitting out their code or just understanding what they're looking at when they're looking at the GitHub, uh, repositories, you know, for Golang. Anyway, if you like the content, please like, and subscribe again, big thanks to everybody sharing the content is really helpful and it is greatly appreciated. Have a good day and I'll see you in the next one.